driving. Hey, Thomas. On the Mammoth Express from Orange County to Mammoth. Yeah. Let's get on the uh, 395 and see what we can get into. On Highway 395 on the road to Mammoth and in Mammoth, so many cool things to see, so many natural formations, hot springs, waterfalls, adventures, and everything in between. First up, Movis Arch. Here's Whitney Portal Road. We are turning left. All right, folks, we're headed to Mobis Arch. What's it called? I think it's a Mobis Arch. Arch Loop Trail is quick and easy. It's a 0.6 mile loop trail and the scenery is amazing. Even as you're driving up, you'll just see all these amazing rock formations. So definitely recommend checking it out. What did you think of the arch? It was really cool. I love seeing natural like wonders like that. So it was really, really cool. Two tips. One, if you come in summer, you'll get it all to yourself, but it's a little warm. Make sure to wear shoes too. Don't be like my wife and try to go out there in sandals. But now, if you go to Copper Top Barbecue, ice cold beer, barbecue, let's go. Made to Copper Top Barbecue. Got my beer, got my barbecue. Jeanette, how do you like it? Even in summer, you can have rain I tried to go to Convict Lake, but it was raining, and I'm not calling myself Jesus, but I turned water into beer. What'd you order? Damn good burger. Hey. Good? One of the coolest things about Mammoth is that there's a ton of natural hot springs, and it's about Five o'clock in the morning, that's why I'm in front of the camera because my wife is not so much a morning person. And we're going to try to catch the sunrise about 5.30. First stop is going to be Wild Willie's uh, Hot Springs because I hear it's got a cool little shape to it. So let's go. We're headed down a little dirt road to get to the hot springs. All right, we've made it. It looks like there are two hot springs over here that you can go into. Um, and there's people in them already. And we got the sunrise coming up. Okay, so quick tip. We got here at 5.30. There were already people here for sunrise. It was crazy. Yeah. So we're leaving now at 6.30 and there was only one person. So if you're looking for a little more privacy, 6.30 may be the better, better time to come. We're staying right near Mammoth Mountain and to get here it's about a half hour. We're here in June and sunrise is about 5.30. I highly recommend, I know it's early, but I highly recommend coming here for sunrise. It was gorgeous. True. Um, oh, there's a few other hot springs nearby, and so we're going to go check out some of those. We're at Hot Creek, right over there. We thought we might be able to go inside, but we can't. Apparently 14 people have died because the water is so scolding, and about three miles down there's hot magma. So this is off limits, but gorgeous. Headed to Polky, Polky Hot Springs? Polky Pools. Polky Pools. Okay, so we are we are in the Polky Pools Hot Spring? Yeah, mm -hmm. hot tub. Polky Pools Hot Springs. It's little, it's cute. It fits probably like six people, um, but the views are insane, gorgeous. Yeah. This one's really cool. Polky Pools is only about eight, 10 minutes from Wild Willies. It's really, really nice. Someone did a really cool job. They built it all up. You have a stunning view. You actually have even a man-made lever where you can let in more hot water. And so it's really, really nice. Okay, so what did you think of the hot springs? 
dude, amazing. You have to come to the hot springs. There are so many, so close by, minutes away from each other. We only visited a few of them. You could spend all day cruising these hot springs. We actually are a little bit uh, biased to Pokey Pools hot springs, but only because that we got the whole place to ourselves. It's so gorgeous, so secluded. And please take it from me, take the tip, bite the bullet, wake up early, get the sunrise because you are going to love doing a hot springs at sunrise. It's amazing. All right, after the hot springs, we took a little rest. I did some work and now we're headed to Mono Lake. We're hoping to catch a killer sunset and see the two foots. So we tried to find a trail and we ended up in a circle of tufas. Not sure how we get to where we want to go. So what do you think of Mono Lake, Josh? It was cool. I definitely recommend coming to either sunrise or sunset. You get some pretty cool views, pretty cool sunsets. Um, Maybe a little bit over exaggerated, but any time you get to spend some time in nature is a good day to me. We are headed to Crystal Lake. There is a strenuous about a mile hike with switchbacks to get to it, but at this point we have an amazing view. So we're excited to keep going to see what this lake looks like. What is this? What is this? Snow? It's um, my uh, nature's uh, cryotherapy. <laughs> Snow on the trail to Crystal Lake, guys. In the middle of June. Middle of June. All right, we made it to Crystal Lake. Like Jeanette said, the hike is a little bit strenuous, so I highly recommend make sure to wear tennis shoes, bring some bug spray, wear a backpack versus a handbag, and take it slow. There's plenty of spots to kind of turn out and enjoy the view. But I gotta tell you, once you make it to Crystal Lake, it is worth the, the hike. As we were leaving Crystal Lake, we accidentally took a wrong turn, but this wrong turn led us to this amazing stream or waterfall that goes down into Lake Mary. So it was amazing just to check it out, see this cool spot that probably not a lot of people get to see, and then continue on our trail. So we finished our Crystal Lake hike. Like we said, it was gorgeous. And we decided to come to Lake Mary because all you have to do is pull your car up off the side of the road, pull up your chairs like we're sitting here now and you can enjoy the lake. So if you're looking for something low key, Lake Mary, you can also like rent boats and kayaks and things like that. If you're looking for a little bit of adventure with a gorgeous reward, Crystal Lake. We are at the Rainbow Falls Trailhead. This trail is about 1.7 miles and then you get to about a hundred foot waterfall. It's gorgeous. So to get here, sometimes you have to take the shuttle, but in 2020, the shuttle service is completely closed because of coronavirus. So we recommend that you get here early because as soon as the parking lot fills up, the rangers may close entrance down. Must get two amazing, breathtaking views. This being one, and this one. So, if you love waterfalls, Rainbow Fall Trail is great because there's also lower falls. I believe it's about half a mile. We're gonna go check it out. So, we made it to Lower Falls. We're sitting on top of a rock right now, and the water is pumping down. It's gorgeous. It's like nature's natural sound bath. Thank you so much for watching this video. It really does mean a lot to us. And if you could please hit that subscribe button, that'd be awesome. 
And if you like this video, give us a like and comment below. What was your favorite part of visiting?